Thank you, Madam Chair. Excellencies, Ministers, Secretary General of ITU, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings from Indonesia. Allow me to express my sincere con congratulations to the ITU for the successful convening of the Sixth World Telecommunication ICT Policy Forum. The theme of this year's forum is indeed crucial as the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated digital transformation in an unprecedented way, creating unlimited potentials for emerging technologies such as 5G, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, and many others to grow. During the pandemic, AI and big data technologies have contributed greatly to the COVID-19 handling efforts. For example, in assessing infection risk, predicting evolution of the virus, as well as tracking and tracing cases of the disease. Excellencies, while it is true that emerging technologies pose many opportunities for improving people's lives and generating economic values, it is important to note that technology disruption has never been neutral. It creates winners and losers. On this note, we must be cautious of the challenges that could rise from a digital paradox, especially in some parts of the world where digital divide remains existing. Without a holistic approach and deliberate efforts, rapid digital innovation could worsen the existing gaps and inequalities within society. Due to issues related to the lack of access to connectivity, affordable internet services, or digital skills as outlined in the ITU's Secretary General's report. Having acknowledged these challenges, the government of Indonesia believes that digital transformation must be inclusive and empowering to further realize the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals of Leaving No One Behind. In increasing the growth and innovation of emerging technologies while bridging the digital divide, the Ministry of Communications of Informatics of the Republic of Indonesia has initiated several policies and programs such as farming and reforming frequency spectrum to support the 5G network deployment, neutral technology policy which enables flexibility for telecommunication providers to utilize allocated radio frequency spectrum to implement 3G, 4G, or 5G technology, analog switch off of the terrestrial television system by November 2022, and facilitating spectrum and telecommunication infrastructure sharing to optimize utilization of resources. Concurrently, we believe that the development of emerging technologies requires a collaborative effort of all stakeholders. In this regard, Indonesia implements blended financing approach through the universal service obligation as well as public-private partnership to support massive and accelerative infrastructure development, including in the remote, in the remote areas. In this connection, I'm also pleased to announce Indonesia's intention to run for the re-election of the ITU Council for Region E and to nominate Dr. Mehdi Sutiar Joko as an ITU Radio Regulation Board member. Indonesia would be honored to receive valuable support from the ITU member states for our candidacies in the forthcoming election of the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2022. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, to end my remarks, I would like to highlight that as an incoming chair of G20 Digital Economy Working Group, the Indonesia Ministry of Communications and Informatics will also discuss the opportunities and challenges those emerging technologies brought to the digital landscape. Through our three priority issues, namely post-COVID-19 recovery and connectivity, digital skills and literacy, as well as cross-border data flow and data free flow with trust. Finally, I would like to congratulate the ITU once again for the successful forum today, and I wish all the delegates a fruitful discussion. Thank you, Madam Chair.